We're in the book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 4. The Bible says, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written. How do you prove that God is true, and every man is a liar, if you have no written scriptures? Hmm, something to think about there. Well, I believe God says this, and I believe God wants that, and whatever else. Um, that doesn't work unless you can provide some written scriptures. Uh, that's why it's such an important thing to know the history of the Bible that you're using. Um, the King James Bible isn't just a preference for this ministry or a preference for those who are saved. The King James Bible has the vast majority of manuscript evidence behind it. Um, it has the greatest history of producing fruit. It's got, uh, it's the most published book in all of history, all recorded history. Uh, there's no question about the King James Bible. The King James Bible, originally called the Authorized Version of 1611, is the greatest book that's ever been printed. And that's because it's God's book. God is the number one seller in all of history. <laughs> kind of funny how the Lord works that out. But, uh, yea, let God be true. But every man a liar. Are you a liar? I've lied throughout my life. Um, all of sin and come short of the glory of God. Everybody lies at some point in time. Uh, that's not justifying it. That's not saying it's all right or whatever else. You shouldn't lie. Uh, it's one of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Uh, you shouldn't be lying about things. And I will say this in my defense, so to speak. Um, there are times I have lied through ignorance. I say the wrong thing or whatever else, and technically it's not true, so technically it would be a lie. But I'm not doing it intentionally. It's a mistake. I make mistakes. And some of my enemies like to point out those times when I mess up or whatever else. And um, little class thing here is frozen. Oh, man. I have to thaw that out. But uh, there have been times where I have... Um, said things and I get my facts jumbled around in my mind and whatever. I don't just read from a script when I do a video. I, I try to just, you know, speak from memory like I'm doing right now. So I apologize publicly for any times that I have said something that was not true. Um, and uh, if I lie about something, uh, which I don't normally do, but if I do, then I certainly will repent of that uh, publicly. But uh, the Bible doesn't say, let God be true, and most men liars, except for those who are saved and in ministry or something. No, every man is a liar. Every man sins. But the verse goes on to say, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and overcome when thou art judged. Also a very important thing relating to the Word of God, the King James Bible. Because you need to be justified in your sayings. How can you be justified? How can you be just in what you're saying if you don't have a perfect standard? If it's just a translation? Um, no, you need to be justified in your sayings because you have a holy, righteous standard that's perfect. That's important. Um, we need to be justified in our sayings, not just come up with our own truth and, well, I feel this or I feel that. No, we need to be justified in our sayings. That's why it's important to make sure that your speech is in line with the scriptures. You shouldn't be going around saying, I believe in God in three persons. There's no scripture for that. Uh, the God, the Holy Trinity, there's no scripture for that. I believe in going to church, there's no scripture for that. I believe in giving 10% of my tithe, there's no scripture for that. Um, make sure that you are saying things that are in line with scripture so that you can be justified in your sayings. Okay, very important. Um, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Uh, people will come and they'll say, you're a liar. Cast out your name as evil. Oh, Denlinger, he's such an evil man or whatever. I can be justified in my sayings when I know that I'm in line with Scripture. See, Denlinger created the Godhead doctrine. 
Uh, no, I wasn't around in 1611 to put the word Godhead in the King James Bible there, the authorized version. Um, <laughs> no, I didn't create the Godhead doctrine. Well, it's Trinity. You no, know, the word Trinity is not there. Um, well, the, the Denlinger, uh, he, he's uh, afraid to be around people and he's, he's divisive and he's militant and he's a hermit and he lives in the middle of nowhere and he doesn't go around other people and... Um, well, I can be justified in my sin and overcome, excuse me, I can overcome when I'm judged because I know that those things are not true. And, um, you know, you follow this ministry, you watch the videos here, you will hear all kinds of wild stuff about me and about my wife and probably even my son by now. Um, why? Because people can't stand me. They can't stand the truth. So, you know, they'll attack the messenger as a way to attack the truth and discredit the truth. Um, it's not supposed to be that way. So, I'm going to be doing, when I do these walk and talks in the future, I'm going to be trying to give the Word of God more of a, get the scriptures out there. And um, because a lot of people are so ignorant of the scriptures. So, I've been thinking about that for a while. The Lord's kind of placed it on my heart to do it this way where I will obviously read the scriptures, show the scripture, but I'll title the video after the scriptures, not some kind of catchy title or whatever else. And um, so hopefully you enjoy this beautiful scenery here. I know I sure do. Um, absolutely beautiful out here this morning. Um, you see all around here, the big, huge fir and spruce trees over there. But uh, lovely morning. Had some couple inches of snow last night, and supposed to get more this week. Winter has arrived in northern Maine. Um, it's been cold, but we haven't gotten a whole lot of snow. Little bits here and there, but um, now we're getting it. I thank the Lord for it. So, um, brethren, don't forget that you have a standard that you can say, "Yay." Let God be true. <laughs> uh, God's true. God's word is true. And I can overcome when I'm judged. And I can be justified in my sayings. And um, I can just look at people and say, you're not telling the truth. Uh, you're a liar because you go against the scriptures. So, pray everybody has a good week. Um, Things are certainly getting nuttier by the day with everything that's going on out there in the world. Um, never know when things are going to really fall apart. You know, the things that hit the fan and whatever else and all that stuff. Um, certainly, things are really nutty right now. I'm trying to get this thing unfrozen. <laughs> so, uh, Man, that is really frozen on there. This little metal latch thing that opens up, you know, like this. That use we use for the gate. And it is completely frozen. You know, it's, you get rain and then... Uh, it Then it freezes. And then you get snow on top of that yet. And it's just... Forget about it. So... But that will be it for this video. And we will see you in upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching.